Well, I'm delighted now to be joined by Jean-François Clairvoy, ESA astronaut and also chairman of Novespas. Jean-François, thank you so much for joining us. Bonjour. We can't not ask you, first of all, what does it feel like when you are up there in space? You've done three, three flights uh, to be looking down on Earth. You know, going to space first is a big push in your butt, going to space. You don't know where you go, but you feel you go somewhere. After two minutes, the sky is black. You don't see stars unless you do something to see stars. Eight and a half minutes after liftoff, we are weightless forever until we do something to come back. Then we look at the window at the Earth and it's wow. And we wonder who created that? How was it created? It is so beautiful. It marks the life of an astronaut forever. So what was your experience like when you were on the space station, Mir? You know, going to Mir, when we opened the door, I felt I was going into a house in space. On board Mir, you have a central place, like a living room. You have a table for dinner together. I was jealous. I would have liked to live a long duration flight on board the space station. On board the space station, you have more volume. You can take time on the weekends to think, to write, to read. The best preferred activity is to look at the Earth. I felt like I was not there to do work, but to share, uh, you know, nice time with friends in space. And as we're heading to an orbital society, that we might see more of that then? I think we might see more of people living in space stations and tourists going there just to experience on themselves. The fact of being in space, in weightlessness, looking at the Earth, not feeling your weight anymore to the point you forget you have a body. You look down, oh, I have legs. So we, we'll see more, but it will take a bit more time still. And as we talk about weightlessness, maybe you could tell us a little bit what the current focus with Novespas is at the moment. Novespas is a private company. The main shareholder is the French space agency. who recreated the brand Air Zero G, like a name of an airline company, with which we fly private flights, five, six flights, eight flights a year maximum. We mainly fly for science. Our plane is a research laboratory. It is like a mini ISS flying weightlessness by a short period of 22 seconds. And sometimes even company uh, by a flight, like the Champagne company Moom in France. They ordered a flight last month to fly with Usain Bolt, the fastest man on Earth, to demonstrate a champagne for weightlessness. And I, I, I raced under moon gravity in the plane with Usain Bolt and he won, of course. Well, yeah, <laughs> it was maybe not a fair contest. <laughs> you mentioned research. What areas of research do you conduct? In weightlessness, all fields of science are interested. Fluid physics, material science, combustion physics, chemistry, physiology, biology, vegetal, animal, human medical research, astrophysics, nuclear physics, in any field of science, you can find a phenomenon that is interesting to study in weightlessness because it is masked by gravity when you are on Earth. So we are, we are also an uh, incubator for innovation and new ideas for research. As we talk about innovation, what do you think that the future of human spaceflight and exploration looks like? The next step in human exploration is still research on board ISS. I believe we will go to Mars in the late, in the mid or late 30s, not landing, just going around, coming back. And if we are lucky, if everything goes well, maybe before 2050, I would say in the 40s, we will know the first men and women landing and walking on Mars. And this is our destiny. And are you excited about that? You know, if I fly in space at the same age as John Glenn, when he flew his second space flight, 2036, I might be still active astronaut and fly around Mars. Well, you heard it here first. It, it could be you, Jean-Francois. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us.